Welcome back to the live stream. It is the last trading day of the week. We did receive some data this morning, and we're going back to Print City over here. So it's not fuck around on and find fuck around and find out Friday. It's gonna be more of like a thirsty Thursday over here. So let's see what we're gonna get today, team. We're gonna go over the economic data, what the charts are looking like, but. I hope you guys are ready for another fun day in Prince City, man. Everybody, make sure you guys are slapping the literal living shit out of the like button on the way in. It helps out a metric shit ton with the algorithms over here. I appreciate you guys. You guys have been running it up on these streams. Thank you. We are, I mean, we're spreading the word about what we're doing over here, team. You have never seen anything like this before. Thousands of people are using this stuff. It's absolutely insane. I hope you guys are excited. But uh spies basically flat in the pre-market here we got nvidia down about 0.7 tessie down one and a half over here that's interesting what's amd doing man eh, nothing too crazy coinbase down let's see what's salesforce doing salesforce down interesting 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 but how's everybody doing t-rated thunderbolt nick baker tor Moonboy. what up team how we doing again oh my god you guys are ripping the like button i love it i love it all right so guys again for all of you guys filtering in right now Everybody has access to over 90% off their first uh, month to the Trade 1348 platform. Make sure you guys do that before prices go up. They're going to go up and you don't want to miss these low prices here. So QR code on the screen right there. And as you guys know, Monday is the last day to upgrade to three year. We delayed it because Speed Racer was delayed. Um, just because Speed Racer is a critical component of what we do uh, in Masterclass. We didn't think it would be fair to have speeders are delayed and then not give you the ability to hop into three year if that's what you wanted to do at the lower price so monday's the cutoff day for that but all right guys let's see what we're gonna get over here um also economic data it was a jobs report but the market's moving a little bit funky after what we've seen uh let me where's the news feed come on where's the, here it is uh u.s initial uh jobless claims actual is 288,000 versus 198,000 previous estimated 200k so more people are filing for unemployment benefits than actually expected the continuing claims are way higher than expected uh 1.823 million versus 1.7 million estimated so everything is higher what does this mean well more people filing for unemployment benefits means that unemployment could be going up meaning the labor market could be cooling off a little bit which the conclusion of this is that the fed may uh, may be able to be more relaxed in terms of their rate increases so that's why when we've been looking at the market here um i i mean some of the bad news is bullish um but from what we've seen in the past that type of news is not bearish especially for for rate hikes coming in i mean if you look at this here uh, it, it makes sense that the Fed would back off a little bit with, and again, we're going to see tomorrow as well. Market's not open tomorrow, but we do have unemployment report, unemployment rate, average hourly earnings, uh, and that data coming out. So when that data comes out, we're going to have a better understanding of where we're actually sitting in terms of the unemployment rate and things like that. But if that's heading higher, the Fed doesn't necessarily have to increase rates as more, uh, as much anymore. And if you look at CPI and it drops significantly, then you could be looking at, okay, we're in a little bit of a better spot here. That's kind of what we're looking at with some of this data coming out, guys. But all right, keep smacking that like button on the way in. You guys are crushing it. I love you guys showing up super early in the pre-market here. Woo! It's going to be fun. What's Tessie doing? Tessie. Let's see. Okay. Morning, all. See, it, it's supposed, like, typically that would be bullish and we would have moved off of that. But today we're not yet. So let's see if people are going to actually digest this data a little bit later. I mean, again, it's the last day before a three day weekend. So you could be just seeing a little bit of lower volume across the board. So be careful. Um, other than that, man, we're going to be doing what we usually do uh, looking at Spy, NVIDIA, Tesla, and the, uh, what, oh, Netflix. I want Netflix up here somewhere. I really liked Netflix uh netflix has been fun so i'll throw netflix over here somewhere i've been playing a lot of netflix it's been a good time so we'll see what we get with it and then other than that we will see all right uh let's see fed's gonna love no they're not 40 year mortgages they're extending it even more that's a bit ridiculous that's a bit ridiculous they're trying to make it more affordable for people to own homes, but them uh, basically them allowing 40-year mortgages can pump prices of homes in the short term, which is ridiculous. It's just going to cause massive home price escalation because think about it like this. If your monthly payment's lower, well, you can then afford a higher-priced house. You're just paying it off over more years. So the person selling you the house can then sell it at a higher price. 
that like the housing market could just go boom based off of that. Remember, what have you seen with uh, car prices after they started financing them? What have you seen with uh, tuition? Once the government stepped in and started backing the loans and started offering student loans, everything goes up when you increase when you basically uh, have this buy now, pay later situation. Higher rates, 40 year more. Yeah, it's very, very, very weird. I haven't seen that, but that's weird. If they're actually doing that, that's fucked up. What's good, team? What up, Pepe? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, that's a bit fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's wild. Why would they? Why the fuck would they do that? All right. What are these doing? Okay. Yeah, because if you just like, because all the prices in the short term will just skyrocket, and then the monthly payments will be the same. It's like it's a bunch of nonsense. You can demand more for your house if you know that they can basically delay them paying the bank back. The banks are going to be like, "What the fuck?" Uh, it could stimulate lending, but that's not really what they want. They don't really want to stimulate lending. If they wanted to stimulate lending like that, they would just decrease rates. They would just take the federal funds right down. That's what they would do. They wouldn't fucking increase. Like, and I, is it even the Fed? I don't think the Fed controls that. I'd have to look though. I'd have to look deeper in that situation. Hold on. Let's look at this. I see it now. 40 year mortgages, 40 year mortgages. Are there going to be 40? This week, the Federal Housing Administration gave the okay to 40 year mortgages. That was on March 9th. It's a move designed to try and make it easier for first time home buyers. Right. But this is like, you're just going to make the problem worse. All the prices of homes are going to go up, you fucking idiots. They're all just going to go up. <laughs> just pay rent to the banks. Yeah, FHA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Google search. Yeah, I just got it. That's so weird. I don't like that. You pay more over the term. Right, but you pay less per month. So you technically can't afford it if, it, if that makes sense. You get an extra 10 years. Wasn't there like a generational mortgage in like the UK or something where you just pay it over like a hundred years or something stupid? They're doing some wild fucking wizard shit over there, guys. I don't know what the hell they're trying to do, but that's nonsense. All right. Keep smacking that like button on the way in, guys. We got a lot of slackers in here. Let's see. We got 100, 110 something of you guys in here already, and we only have 35 likes. That's sad. You guys are slacking over here. I blame you. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Uh, you wish hard to get more than a five-year fixed rate in the UK? Somewhere they were talking about a generate. Let me look at this. I think they're called gener. Where are these? A family mortgage. I don't know where is this. I don't know where they do it, but. Uh, Japan has them. Japan has a hundred year mortgage term. That's fucking insane. That's such, that's so irresponsible. It's Japan. Yeah. It, that's so irresponsible, bro. That's like the dumbest shit of all time. Like, why are you doing, that's so crazy. I also heard something really interesting the other day. Uh, I think it was a Joe Rogan quote where he was like, um, where he was like, um, he, 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 talking about like this nonsense, how like the elite people are just stupid. It's like, well, if you, if you were to like every single time a, a country is going to go to war, they drafted, they drafted the children of millionaires. There would be no war ever. Anytime something would happen, they'd be like, no, nah, fuck you. No, we're not doing that shit. I was like, that's an interesting way to think about it. I was like, imagine somebody just said, fuck it, YOLO, anyway. Uh, you think Mexico does too? That's crazy. TTF Colt Worky Brosie, what up, buddy? Good morning, Mr. Vic. Smash the like button. Let's get that bag. Have a great day. I will. Uh, you too, buddy. Uh, that's because real estate is super expensive and they're on an island. Who's on? Japan? 
I mean, uh, it doesn't really matter. Like, you can't be doing a hundred year mortgages and not expect weird shit to happen. Intergenerational mortgage, the elderly people can get a mortgage for that. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. They would quote murder children. That's no, I don't think they would do that. Oh, two legs away from 50. Thank you, thank you, thank you, team. Let's do it. Let's have a good day today, huh? Let's have a great day today. New member here, any advice? Yes. If you're talking about uh, the platform, what I would do is watch all of the curriculum videos, paper trade for a few weeks, come to the live streams, and ask any questions that you have after you've watched the curriculum videos. That is the best way to get caught up to speed and be an active participant in Market Talk, uh, maybe after hours when, when people are having discussions. Um, and there's a lot of people who've been doing this with us for over a year at this point that are going to be able to help you out too. So if I'm not available, if Gabe's not available, there's going to be a lot of people in the community that are. Uh, the bonus is that with intergenerational mortgages, you have zero inheritance tax issues. Really? Oh, that's true. But that's still weird. So if you go bankrupt, do they send a hitman to your green kids? I don't know, bro. They, I don't think they've thought this far. I genuinely don't think they've thought it out this far. Where it's like, what if your kid's a fuck up and you've got like a $20,000 a month mortgage on your house? You're going to have to sell it. What if the house is underwater? Like it, there's so many problems. Like, okay, think about it like this. What if in like a weird scenario, what if the parents like are not around anymore? Then you're a college graduate, let's say. And that home is underwater. And now you have to deal with a $20,000 a month mortgage payment. Now, in that case, you probably have some money that your parents left you in order to pay it. But if you don't, you're fucked. You're completely fucked. You sell the house you owe the bank. Or you can try and pay the twenty k a month in the mortgage. It's, you're fucked either way. Hopefully by that time. I mean, again, the house is not paid off because it's a 100-year mortgage. It's crazy, dude. That's just ridiculous. All generations live in the same home for long enough, not like the U.S. Okay, that's fair. Cultural differences. I didn't account for that. That's also fair. Nancy looking weirdly choppy in the pre-market here. AMD flatline. Tessie looks like it could be smooth a little bit. Little smooth movement on Tessie. I mean, I like the data that came out in terms of what the Fed could do with rate hikes. Again, what have I said before? The data that's going to be coming out more so uh, recently, like uh, going forward, is probably going to point to the Fed not having to do as much. That's exactly what was shown in the jobs report today. We'll see what happens a little bit later tomorrow with the next report. And then when's CPI? It should be next week, right? Yeah, next Wednesday we get CPI. So between today and next Wednesday, we're going to have a really good idea. And next Thursday. We're going to have a really good idea of what we're looking at here in the overall macro economy in terms of inflation. We're going to have a really good understanding going into May, which is when the next Fed meeting is. So as of right now, there's about, let me refresh this. When I tweeted this out, there's a 59.5% probability of, uh, yeah, so it's 57.6 now percent probability of no rate hike in May. If CPI comes in uh, low, if unemployment comes in high tomorrow, uh, you could definitely see markets pick up a, a little bit of steam. Uh, you were reading that a currency change would make mortgages null and void. You know, if there's, I have no idea. There are people here, they levered with capital they bought uh, and bought more every year. Uh, now talking about five to 50 houses. I mean, I'm thinking about, uh, yeah, I'm not talking about real estate investors. I'm talking more so like, like primary residences. Because if you have a tenant in it paying the mortgage, like that's fine. Because then the kid's probably not fucked. If it's the parents paying it, then you're like, oh, okay, now you're fucked. Unless they left you a bunch of money, which is possible. But in the case that they didn't, you either have, let's say, a $20,000 a month mortgage payment or you got to take probably a big hit on the on the sale of that home. And then you're fucked. Uh, but yeah, Moonboy, I'm not sure about that one. But yeah, guys, you guys see the QR code on the screen? best trading platform on the face of the planet for retail investors. Don't get left behind. You've seen so many people led to the slaughter over the last year, really since August. Um, in these other communities, do not do not let that be you guys. Everything you've ever wanted out of the market has been right in front of you the entire time, and it's cheaper than a cup of coffee for your first month. It's $5. Come in and see why thousands of people are printing with the system. I mean, at this point, what alternative do you have? You really don't. We have something for everybody. We have real-time unusual options, activities, swing trade alerts, day trade alerts on all different timeframes. 
Thigh gap for you three years. Traffic lights for everybody. It's fucking dirty, guys. I hope you guys are ready to have some fun. And all you new people coming into the community, welcome. We are going to get you guys caught up to speed and printing with us. But, ooh, you guys are cranking the like button now. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Keep smacking it on the way in. Let's get some more people in here, saving more retail investors from all the nonsense that is out there. Let's see. IMF's, hold on. IMF's Georgieva, 90% of advanced economies will see a decline in growth 2023. India and China to account for half of the global growth. Fair. Fair enough. This thing sharked and then came right back up. Salesforce on the four hour looks really interesting. This looks real interesting on the four hour. The question is, who's going to print at Augusta? I don't know. I'll probably have some. I might have some time today on the flight to watch some of it. I might have some time to watch some of it. Also, I don't think I can do the afternoon stream with you guys. I thought I could, and then I was mapping it out. I was like, I don't have time to do that. Dixie over 102. Where's the dollar here? Dixie. Dixie's ripping up here with that move. That's weird. Hold your horses. Yeah, dollars ripping here. Come on. Why is it not letting me do this? Come on. Let's go. Be quicker, computer. I'm all about speed. Okay. Yeah, dollars ripping there. If the dollar cools there, that could easily just send things flying. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything new coming in on Twitter. I don't think there is. <laughs> no. Nothing too crazy coming in over here. Where's Amanda? Down at 90. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with my AMD cells over here. I mean, those are for June. They They were up 30%. Let's see. Full board on Rick's? No, I'm going up. I'm just going to Florida to literally do nothing, sit outside in the sun, and relax for a couple of days because I never get to do that ever. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do. I like never get to take any time off, which is fine. That's okay. I like working. I'm probably going to do a day of like doing nothing. And then I'm going to be like, all right, let's get back to work. Cause like when I'm working, sometimes I'm like, oh, I could use a break. And then when it happens, I'm like, no, nah, I want to get back to work. <laughs> Over the market. I'm, I'm done with sitting around. I don't want to do anything. I, I want to do stuff. All right. Let's see. Costco. What the fuck happened here to Costco? There's sharking. I mean, this thing's way the fuck down here now. What happened? March same store sales fall short. Okay. That's not good. I mean, I would I maybe keep an eye on it for a reversion move, but that's not great for Costco there. Uh, I don't think it was earnings. I don't think it was earnings here. Let's see. What we got market slipping more. We got how much time left? 26 minutes to go, guys. All right. Keep running. Ooh, 25 likes away from 100. 
Let's do it. Also, guys, remember, Monday's the last day to upgrade to three-year before the prices go up. You guys are still going to be able to get into three-year after next Monday, um, but the prices are going to be uh, significantly higher. So make sure that you guys are able to take advantage of that deal before then. Uh, we extended it for you guys just based on the delay of the speed uh, of one-minute Speed Racer come out, Speed Racer run. Um, so if you guys do want to take advantage of that opportunity, make sure you guys do. Those master classes, I mean, yesterday, that master class that we did was fire. The last Wednesday one, fire. The morning ones with Gabe, I've heard, have been absolutely amazing with you guys. Um, no Sunday master class this week because it's Easter, but all the other Sunday master classes have been awesome. Um, thigh gap, everything. Make sure you guys are taking advantage of all the tools that we have to offer you. We got some interesting shit coming as well. Big day playing one stock yesterday. Tesla uh, reports March sales results uh, 21.71 billion up from 21.61. They fell 1.5%. Right. Yeah, so the sales numbers that came out for March were lower than I expected. They were not great. They were not great. Let's see. <laughs> Coinbase just is is making me very interested in some of these movements here that I've seen on it. All right. 24 minutes to go. Oh, you guys are really cranking the like button. Thank you, team. We are almost at 100. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All you new members, welcome to you. Oh, all you affiliates that I got to approve over here too. What is going on, team? Remember, you guys refer people. You refer, refer like three people and you're, what do you call it? Your membership's like completely free. Let's see. Let's see. I need that extra SPF protection though? Nah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Don't you worry about me. I'll probably get cooked. Let's see. Uh... Let's see. Uh... Ooh. Huh. I don't see anything here. Yeah, I don't I don't see much on the news feeds or anything. Uh just have, have I seen the dollars move? Yeah. How do you become an affiliate? Um, you go into your subscriptions page, I believe, or your settings page on platform, you click become an ambassador, and then you are good to go. You fill out the form, I approve you really quickly, and then you're good. The sun is the only thing that can defeat your white privilege. <laughs> Bro, uh, sometimes I get burnt as fuck. Sometimes I don't get anything. So we're going to see how it goes this week. I'm probably going to get burnt as shit, which is fine. That's what I need. I need some sunshine. It's just so fucking cold here all the time, bro. Like, I'm ready for it to be warm again. What is the role of ambassador? You get a link, and anybody that you refer that clicks your link and signs up and becomes a member, you get recurring revenue every single month. Let's uh, so you guys can make money too. Uh, will we ever do some masterclasses related to long-term income statements, balance sheets? Yes. Yeah, we can do that. We can do a Wednesday night one and go through everything with you guys. So I can plan that out for one of the uh, masterclasses uh, with you guys. Again, we can pretty much do whatever. We've been going on thigh gap and all of that stuff so far recently. There's some other things that we have to cover too with trading that I want you guys to 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 realize. Um, But yeah, that's going to be... Uh, we can definitely do that. Also, guys, for all of you guys that are in here right now, if you haven't noticed yet, I did post the swing trading video yesterday. Is there a charge to be one? No, Moon Boy. It's for, if you, you're a member. You're good to go. Um, I posted the swing trading video yesterday. 
Um, and then we did an extension of that in the masterclass yesterday too. So make sure that you guys go over there to this video link right here, drop a like, drop a comment, um, watch that video. If you're interested in swing trading, that is going to tell you guys everything that you need to know with swings. It's a full breakdown of everything you need to know. But you, yeah, you guys were really asking for that swing trading video. There it is. It is live. Make sure you guys go rip that one up. Am I going to tan my ankles? I don't know. Maybe if they get tan, you know. That'd be sweet. Swing trading video and the concepts covered last night in the masterclass were nasty. Thank you, Tor. I appreciate that, buddy. Going to be game changing for the long-term positions. Yeah, for, for what we talked about yesterday, it, it definitely is going to be. You can just see where markets are going. It's very simple. All right. 20 minutes. Here we go. Let's see. Is it possible to pick up where you left off? Corey, I don't think so, man. Unless there was like a crazy circumstance. No. Once you once you lose your your OG 49 status, um, I think you lose it forever. Unless there was like a crazy circumstance that we can take care of. Um, but again, remember you've got a uh, what do you call it? Uh, everybody gets their first month for five bucks, but Corey, be careful because if that's the case, prices are gonna be going up soon. Right now it's 69, but it is not staying that way forever. Um, so, and that goes for everybody too. The QR codes up on the screen. Um, the links at the top of the live chat, use code print city, get your first month for five bucks. Uh, even looking back at COVID weekly, I got painted the entire picture for the long-term entries across the board. It did dude. It did love the hair today. What did I do with my hair today? What is it different? Oh, okay. Thanks. I appreciate it. I don't think I did anything different, but thank you, pal. I appreciate it. D-boy. Ooh, five likes away from 100. Thank you, team. Also, everybody, I just saw a little notification come through my phone. It is Tabasco Dave's birthday today. So everybody, I want to see everybody wishing Tabasco Dave a happy birthday. A very, very uh, OG of the community. Awesome guy. I want to see him. I want to see everybody wish Tabasco Dave a happy birthday. I don't know if he's in the chat right now, but go into Market Talk. Wish him a happy birthday. Let's see. Tabasco Dave's birthday. There we go. Should wish for ankles. No, if you guys hit 500 likes on the stream, you can get ankles. That's the threshold. You are 400 likes away on the stream for ankles. Are you going to get it? I don't think so, but it's possible. So let's see. <laughs> Anything is possible. All right, let's see here. AMD. Slip, 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 Tessie. Let's see. Woo, you guys have Masterclass 2 all you three years. There you guys go. There you guys go. But yeah, guys, Monday's the last day to upgrade to three years, so make sure you guys take advantage of that before it's too late. Mm, we got 17 minutes to go until open team this is gonna get exciting i like it let's see Oh, you guys are cranking the like button now. You guys are insane. I love you guys. Cranking it up. It's because I said ankles. It's because I said the word ankles. Because you guys are like, oh, if I like the video, maybe I can see the streaming the streaming kids' ankles. You guys are weird, but it's cool. All right. What are we going to get here? Today? 
my friend's dad asked if I can put a toe ring on. No, that's weird. Tell your friend's dad that he's weird. Might not trade it out, Daniel. Smart move. You're going to log on to your 10 other accounts to like? Thank you, Morrow. Appreciate it. <laughs> Let's see. Hit the like button, freeloaders. Hey, a lot of you freeloaders still need to hop into the platform. What are you waiting for? We've been doing this for a year, showing you guys how successful this is. What are you guys doing? Oh, I'm getting back on the video grind too, guys. Get ready for that. I have a list of just wild videos to make for you guys. Oh, it's going to be awesome. It is going to be absolutely awesome. We have some cool ass videos coming. We're probably going to do one or two a week. Gabe and I are going to have a little video competition for fun. Oh, get ready. Get ready. Yeah, so make sure you guys have notifications for the channel turned on. It's going to get fun. We're going to make some, some algorithm videos. We're going to make some stuff for Rumble. It's going to be fun. Oh, you guys ripped up the Rumble video too yesterday. I appreciate that, team. Let's get ready to rumble. Y'all ready for this? Spy's just been on a little little decline over here since the data. Very interesting, man. Very interesting. Remember the days when we played only crosses? Dude, I like this way better. I like this way better. Doing what we do now is way better. We just keep evolving the system, making it even easier for you guys to just print stupid money in the market. Let's see. There we go. AMD just bounced off that 91.11 level. All right, let's see. Salesforce on the four hour is just like so interesting to me. Like this, this interesting. We'll see though what happens with it. What tickers are you guys looking at today? Uh, Cause you guys know what I'm looking at. It's the same thing as usual. It's spy Tesla, Nvidia, Netflix. Those are the, those are the four that I really like to trade a bunch of sometimes mix in a little bit of AMD in there, but what are you guys looking at? Oh, these trades are going to be smooth today. I'm going to be playing all next week's. Oh, this is going to be smooth sailing today, bro. Smooth sailing. Boring ES minis. There you go. BMO. What's that? Thanks. Bank of Montreal. On uh, the five minutes. I don't. What is this? Pre-market, no, no trades. I don't see anything going with this. QQQ. Okay. Where's the Qs in the morning? Just same deal as Spy over here. That's really it. Let's go back here. Four hour? Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Ah, uh, I see what you're doing. I see. Yeah, I see what you're doing here, buddy. I, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Hunting this thing back down. I mean, we'll see what happens if there's any more banking news. But if there is, I mean, these things could definitely get clicked. Dixie on a little break. Dixie's been ripping, bro. Dixie was ripping this morning. Like, this thing has just been on a mission. Here's the thing, though. If Dixie retraces, it's just going to slingshot the market, which is, ooh, interessante. All right. How much time we got left? 11 minutes to go. Ooh, keep smacking that like button on the way in, team. Oh, you guys are killing it. Uh, Amazon on the daily looks interesting. Okay, let's take a look at that. 
at selling off in the computer. I was scalping the shit out of Amazon yesterday. Just 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. That thing was a monster. Yeah, Amazon on the daily does look interesting here. The problem is, is that you already got this traffic light back here. You play the retest off 96 up to 100. You nailed it here. Now I probably wouldn't touch it. I mean, you could play this bounce off the 13 maybe. Maybe. Uh, this thing's just knifing in the pre-market here. Down about 0.89. Let's see. We got 10 minutes here. Starbucks. S box. Uh, nothing really happening in the pre-market here. Let's see what happens on the four hour. Four hour. Dude, this four hour trade on Starbucks from 99 to 105. Nasty. Again, guys, anybody that's not trading with the traffic lights at this point, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I really don't. I really don't, man. I mean, there's just people out there that are just like, no, I don't want to trade with the traffic lights. It's five dollars here for but I'm not gonna do that. It's like you're a bit drunk, I think. It's silly, bro. You guys see my gains, you guys see Gabe's gains, you guys see everybody's you see Rita's gains. QR codes on the screen, team. Five bucks here first month. <laughs> but they'll full port a meme stock exactly like people are just so dumb bro it's okay you guys will learn eventually those of you guys that aren't in there with us yet you guys will learn eventually let's see Bro, I've, I started seeing a bunch of tweets on AMC. It was like, not leaving. It's like, you probably should have when I fucking told you, dumbasses. You use the traffic lights. There you go. Traffic lights for the win. Bed Bath & Beyond, the next blockbuster. Yeah, I'll probably play. Dude, it's like, it, people don't, I was looking at Twitter and I saw, I saw the hashtag and I was like, mm, that's enough Twitter for the day. I don't need to infect my mind with all this nonsense and people being stupid. Y'all ready for this? All right, team, eight minutes to go. This is going to be fun. Good morning, fellow tequila lover. What up, Dumb Bonsat? I'm going to try to not do all that much drinking this weekend, but like, I don't I don't know what's going to happen. It's very possible because like, there's like other kids my age that are probably going to be at this place. So like, we'll see. AA's playing retail. I don't know about that. I just think he, he's in a tough spot and he can't do anything else. But it was so easy to spot, which is what pisses me off that people are still losing money on these things. It's just, ugh. CRM 180, April 21. That's what you like? Think uh, the AMC hype will ever die? Yeah, yeah bro. It's already dead. It's slowly dying because here's the here's the problem, and this is what um this is what people don't realize, and it's something that they do. But again, most people don't realize a lot of things that they need to, and that's why you see people still coming into the stream asking about it, even though every single day since Ape came out, I was like, no, 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 and you've just seen decline, 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 decline. Here's what it is: people are down so horrendously that they're like, any pop, I'm just gonna get the fuck out. You saw it with GameStop on the last earnings; it popped. Okay, it knifed it open. What? What is that? That's everybody debt getting the fuck out because they're done with it. So when it does end up coming up a little bit, it's just gonna get sold into because everybody's like, "Fuck this! I want it out of my account." People can't handle the truth, guys. That is why they end up losing so much money and they don't go anywhere in their lives. It just is what it is. You cannot handle, people cannot handle the truth. What am I looking to trade today? Uh, I don't know. Spy NVIDIA, Tesla, Netflix. Coin looks a bit interesting there. Coin could be spicy. I mean, this thing's been selling off pretty aggressively over the past week. We'll see what happens there. Uh, Salesforce is really interesting to me too. We'll see what happens with that. It's too late to sell now. 
Right, but here's the thing. You, like the, the problem was is that everybody was warned. You can't then say that I wasn't you, like you weren't warned that it was going to do this. And that's the problem like in in that in Chris, that's the other thing that that feeds into it too. Like even if it does get an aggressive pop, it's it, people are just going to sell it because they're like oh, I just want the money back. I don't I don't care anymore. Keep hating. That's why AMC is up 11% right now. Yeah, Ape is probably tanking. It has to do with the lawsuit and all this fucking nonsense. Like, it's just a piece of shit. Ape made it a piece of shit. Before that, mm, had it had potential. After, nope. Nope. And it's sad because we all wanted it to work, and then it just didn't. But there are still going to be people out there leading you guys to the slaughter saying it's the same fucking thing that it was two years ago. Nope, it's not. It's sad, man. People are just getting led to the slaughter all the time. It sucks. It sucks. That's why we're here saving people. I, I mean, that's literally what it is. Teaser's just joking around. Teaser's just joking around, bro. Let's see. All right, guys. Four minutes to go until open. Keep smacking that like on the way in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have another great day, man. Why is my computer being so slow this morning? It's so strange. Ooh, we got some more affiliates to approve. Welcome. 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 <laughs> it's all jokes. <laughs> GE on the daily light is crazy. Uh, let's look. Oh my God, dude. Look what you could have hit here. 65 to 94 on General Electric. Oh my God. And again, I reiterate, this is why I say, well, if you're not trading with the traffic lights at this point, what in the fuck are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? You just want to keep sitting here not having good trades in the market? That's fine. That's, I can't sit here all day trying to tell you. I've been trying to tell you guys for a year. Let's see. SV, they might want to kill me now. <laughs> they might. They might. Because you, you you kind of fed into that stock cuck uh, analogy there, where it's like the uh, the same the the people that are excited when it drops ninety percent and is up like twenty is like the same people that let their girl go out and fuck other dudes, then get wildly overly excited when their girl comes back and gives them a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Market's closed tomorrow. Yeah. Dude, the people under when I tweeted that out, people went fucking nuts. All the people that had a brain were like, that's fucking funny and that's true. And then the people that are like, hey, they just confirmed what I was saying. Is Costco too late to get into on the four hour? I mean, it already made a pretty significant drop there. On the on the you can see it here, three percent down. If you look at this on the four, it's probably traffic lighting. Yeah, I would wait for a retest. Uh, that's that's too extended for my liking. Like that sneako guy. <laughs> Don't eat on Sneeko, bro. Don't. Let's see. For abandoning ship after it tanked? I don't know who Chris Allen is, but I mean, dude, after Ape came out, you guys know where I stood. I was like, this is a steaming pile of garbage. Why is my computer so slow this morning? It needs to not be like that. It needs to not do that. Eh, it's a little better now. Traffic light is the best indicator. It is, dude. The thing is, is it's not lagging. It's leading. It's fucking dirty. He literally says a cuck and encourages others to try. Wait, I feel like that's a joke. <laughs> that's got to be a joke. I don't think that can be real. There's no way that's real. Guys, we got two minutes until market open over here. Let's go. Oh, whoa. You sold the day after that earnings call? Yeah. My PC is slow because it has an Apple logo on it. That's true. TLT in May, we're going to get a better understanding of what's happening with TLT. I want to wait. Okay. I mean, we'll see. Uh, long weekends are excellent for swing trading. Doubtful any good news over Easter weekend. Israel getting hammered by missiles. Are oh, boy. I, I could be getting interesting here. Yeah. 
All right, one minute to go. We got 20 seconds here, team. Ooh, we're about 30 likes away from 152. Oh, I love you guys. He did admit to that on a podcast. Did he really? I've never understood saying the cuck stuff. Have they never thought about a full swap? That's work. That's the same thing. To me, that's the same thing. Ding, ding, ding. The market is open. Let's <laughs> go. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. AMD. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, hi, Tesla. Where's Netflix? Okay. Coin just getting booty clapped over here. Salesforce, kind of same deal. Let's do this. I'm just going to throw a limit here, see if that can get hit on a swing that I'm up 8% on. That's pretty sweet. Let's see. Uh, dollar move on the five minutes. It's interesting. If the dollar loses it here, spy could. Oh no, spy slipping. This is slipping now too. I like that. Are they gonna give me my fill? No, nah, it's like six cents away from my fill. I'm up like twelve percent on those swings now. I have a limit. Let's see if this hits. It might. Let's see. I mean, ten more cent drop in the stock. I should probably that should do it. That, yeah, all right, I got my limit. I'm up 17% on these swings here. That's fucking sexy. It's Salesforce. Um, So this one here was off the four hour. It doesn't have the, uh, It doesn't have a shitload of time to expiration. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph, uh, you were very close to what I had. What I was looking at, they're just a couple of strikes up. So I've scaled out of those. We're going to see what happens with that. It's pretty nice. I was going to, uh, I was looking at Coinbase 2 for a swing. Stopped on that one. So, still looking good, though. Baba out of a cannon? Oh, hold on. Uh, I mean, yeah, it looks interesting here. I just, it, it's not, in the morning, I need to see, like, the, I need to see, like, moves like this and then play the reversion. Like, where's the dollar right here? Dollar's still holding on. If dollar can come down and break this, uh, 5 minute 13, you might see some action here. Nancy's dying. I'll get Salesforce back up here. Yeah, Salesforce getting booty clapped. Nice. Fucking great swing trade there on Salesforce. Fuck yeah, bro. That's up 21% right here. Thank you. Like, look at that, guys. That's so simple. So simple. Scaled out. Gave myself a real nice buffer on the trade. Fuck yeah, bro. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Tesla having a big drop. Yeah, Tessie's dropping too. Nancy's the one I'm the most interested in right here. Netflix also. The, so Nancy and Netflix are the two that I'm interested in. AMD, not so much. This thing, just fucking go to the shitter, please. That'd be great. I mean, if those hit 50%, I'll scale out again. That's a big-ass candle. Spy just hanging around these lows here. All right, guys, keep smacking that like button on the way in. Netflix dying, good. Good, 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 good. Kill everything. 
dollar slip in here too. So this might be a bond move. Yeah, this is risk off. Yeah, this is what they're doing. They're just going risk off. This isn't a dollar move. This is a bond move. Yields are coming down. This is not bullish. This is risk off. They're buying these bonds up here on the on the tenure. Money is flowing out of equities into bonds as of right now. It can easily switch, but this isn't necessarily a dollar movement. Pay attention to the bonds. The bonds are slipping. The yields are coming down, meaning that there's money flowing into bonds. So let's see what happens here. Holy shit, I'm up 31% on, on these fucking swings right now? 32? Where is Salesforce right now? Holy shit. Oh, this thing is getting killed. This thing is getting absolutely killed. I might as well scale out again here. Give me another one. Give me more. Yeah, I just scaled out a little bit again. Bro, look at that. Look at that. Oh, those are dirty. 39% on these swings. Don't let me get a hold of these swings. Oh, dude, these are fucking 40%, 41%. Nailed it, bro. Those are dirty. Thank you, Salesforce, bro. Look at that. Nice little easy swing trade there to start off the day. Must have been closer to the money than you. Yeah, I was. What made me take that trade on Salesforce? This is where I was looking at it yesterday. Four-hour traffic light down. That's all it was, guys. Four-hour traffic light. You guys see how simple this is? Again, I don't know what the fuck people are doing not trading with the traffic lights. I'm up 46% today. I haven't done shit. I've done zero. Nothing. Nada. Forty eight, forty nine percent on these, bro. That's dirty. That's that's just filthy. Thank you, stock market. I'm going to throw a wild limit order out here. And if that hits. That's going to be insanity. If somehow they hit that, that'll be at like a hundred percent or like eighty percent. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Tessie looking a bit spicy. Where's the dollar? Dollar's losing that a little here. All right, travel like down on puts. Why wouldn't why wouldn't you do that, Daily Cheesecake? You weren't worried about that level? No, not at all. Not at all. I wasn't worried at all. What level? On Salesforce? On the four hour? This? No. Even if it did come down to that level, which it did, it's still a dirty trade. And this level up here is it was under it the entire time. No, I'm chilling on this thing. Netflix getting just booty clapped here. See, I don't like this. This is too extended. I need a better entry for that. BMO puts up 41% on a swing. There you go. What makes Tesla look spicy? For me? I mean, it looks like it, it's it's sort of following what we like to do with thigh gap here. It's slowly getting there. But with the way the market's looking right now, it doesn't look great. Nancy just ripped up to that 13 and is rejecting. Dollar slip. <coughs> Four hour for calls too. Yeah, Daily Cheesecake. If you've not watched the swing trading video that I posted yesterday, what are you doing? It's answered in the in the video there. It's all there for you.
I make those videos so that you guys can learn. You're bad? No, you're good. It's just in the video. I, the link was floating around in the live chat a little bit earlier, and it's the most recent video on my channel. Netflix just getting fucking killed here. Uh, you're trying to sign up the one hour and you said not to do it. And whenever you tried to do it, I kept getting burned because spy was all over the place. Yeah, yeah, guys, we say we say we say these things for a reason. That was a good video yesterday for a noob like you, David Price. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, guys, uh, let me grab that link to that video again. I'll throw it in the live chat here just so that you guys have it. Um, but this is the link to the most recent video for swing trading. I mean, you guys got to watch that one. It's another really, really powerful curriculum video. There you guys go. Uh, Lenar on the four hour. I don't know what this is. Uh, it doesn't, it's getting there. For this, I would want it to break below this 48. Spies just teeter in 406. Nancy fucking around. Netflix just getting booty clapped here, which could be, give us some really good opportunity later. Uh, Apes Grotus, I'd have to take a deeper look into it. I haven't been really paying that much attention to it. Uh, 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 uh. let's see. Yeah, I don't like Nancy here. Tessie's interesting to me, but let's see. Target? What's up with Target? Target bouncing off a level. That's not bad. I mean, anything that I'm taking today, too, is going to have next week expirations on it. I'm not fucking around with dailies. That's suicide mission. Where's Netflix? If Netflix comes down to here, that's going to be disgusting. Yeah, 44% on my Salesforce swings right now. That's dirty, dude. That's like actually disgusting. 47%. Dollar right back up. Spy dipping. Tessie trying, man. No, nah, I don't like Tessie here. Not yet, at least. It's just flickering. Cooked. Not as cooked, but cooked. Don't like that. This is cooked. Dollar screaming now. There goes Salesforce lower. These are probably up over 50% now. If these are just going to continue making me money, yeah, 54% on Salesforce. I have my wild limit order out there that if it ever hits, it's going to be fucking nasty. Bitcoin on the four hour as a traffic light down. Okay. We're seeing a lot of consolidation here. Honestly, the one that I'm looking at the closest is going to be Netflix. Tessie sort of, it's just not as extended as Netflix is. NVIDIA, I don't really like. Spy is just, oof. Levels on Spy, you're down below four. It's literally just 405.50, 405, things like that. That's what you're looking at. And those of you guys in, in Gabe's masterclass, he he draws them out for you guys pre-market too. Baba knife, interesting. About 53% on these swings.
SPY back above 406 here. Let's see. Hopping in Tesla. It doesn't look bad. You got to get above that 13. Thigh gap doesn't look bad. The wrist is going to be super tight. Let's see what happens with it. it needs to get above that three minute 13 where's netflix netflix is just still getting killed 181.50 is going to be interesting on tesla but the, i mean the 13 is at 181.60 so like that's the same difference Spy slipped. Tessie trying to hold. Let's see. Uh... Today will be easy to overtrade. Be careful, folks. Yeah, I agree. It's a lot of green there on Tessie. Let's see if it gets one of those big candles coming in here. You got 10 seconds or 15 seconds left on this three minute candle. Let's see. Spy trying to come back up here to 406. Doesn't. Ooh, that was interesting. Fifty three percent on my Salesforce puts. That's fucking dirty. Let's see. Spice trying. Let's see. No, it's not really getting there yet. Dude, 54% on these sales forces. God damn. <clears throat> Man, you're really just looking for this, but where's uh Netflix? Oh my god, that's just tempting. That's gonna get tempting. If Netflix ends up getting there, that's gonna be a dirty, dirty, dirty dog.
Come on, Tassie. Film me, you dumb hoe. Oh, you fucking assholes. <laughs> How did that not fail? <laughs> you douchebags. Flat 400 on the spy? That would be disgusting. Spy, nice little pop there. Nothing too crazy, though. how is that not filling you dick yeah there we go <clears throat> got my order filled on tessie that's nice little scalp how am i trying to play on tesla thigh gap it's all thigh gap that's all it is team just a little bit of thigh gap. So that was a nice little quick scalp on some next weeks. Caught like 50 cents on Tesla. Not bad. I'm still in it. I mean, I, I just scaled out. So, Spy doing a whole lot of nothing here. Spy testing DWAP, interesting. Yeah, guys, it's all it's all thigh gap. It's nasty. So, the entry on Tesla is on this candle right here. I'll tell you. Right here. It's this one with the long wick. <clears throat> Apple pop, interesting. I'm. I, this is what I'm most in. There it is. Tessie doing really nothing here. We only get thigh gap over three year lifetime. Yes. It's it's literally just the thigh gap trade. It's nasty. It's the risk reward is perfect. I'm scaling in and out of these positions super easily. It's very, very nice to trade with that. I love it, dude. BMO for 81% scaled out with free runners. There you go. Yeah, Tessie's just flying around. Same thing with the spy here. N literally nothing happening. Let's see. But yeah, guys, that deal on three-year goes until Monday now. So if you guys are interested in hopping in, getting access to all these other indicators, man, um, make sure you guys do that before Monday. Spy Teeter and Netflix, same deal.
yesterday and you're up 500 bucks after being down like a thousand you were uh, you were down a thousand dollars why were you down a thousand dollars on crm i mean i'm up a lot on crm too i'm up 48 percent on it but like i was never like the entries were pretty solid on that one. I don't know what happened there to you, bud. All right, let's do this. Volume's pretty low on Netflix here. You're not seeing many trades go through. Let's see what the spy wants to do. Tessie, fucking around. Netflix, fucking around. Uh, you bought it wrong. I still don't get the buying in at the prices that you do. Uh, yeah, Dr. Q, make sure that you're watching the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the, the video that I made for you guys yesterday. It's floating around in the live chat somewhere. Um, that's going to help you out a whole lot, man. Oh, wow. I just got a nice scale out there. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> I'm just scalping for pennies, man, on next week. Sizing it nicely and just scalping. Scalp, scalp, scalp. But that Salesforce one was dirty. That Salesforce trade was fucking disgusting. Uh, you watched it on Rumble and again last night. Thank you, Dr. Q. I appreciate that, buddy. Spy just getting chopped. Netflix, there it goes. <laughs> Let's see. What did what did Nvidia do? Yeah, Nvidia's doing nothing. I don't like any of that. I mean, this thing's just slowly walking its way down here. Uh, the Google move, you were late to the party. Yeah, happens. Where's the dollar? Point negative point three. Let's see. What's that noise? No, it's it's nothing. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about the noise. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Salesforce. Dude, I'm up 64% on this. Let's see. That's dirty. That is disgusting. Spy little bounce there. Tassie, hello. Five minute chart on uh you're talking about DraftKings? Dude, that Salesforce play is fucking printing, dude. Point three. Yeah, we could look at the values on the this is the three minute, but the five minute, yeah, it's gonna be slightly larger values. Point three here. That's point oh three. This is also point oh six. So I'd be careful with that.
Oh, 24.52. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, guys. Keep smacking that like button on your way back in. Let's get after it. Ooh. That looks little, showing a little signs of spice here. Hello. Come on, daddy. Give me a little something. Yes, there we go. Another scale out on Netflix. Thank you, Thigh Gap. There we go. Oh, these are up big now. Now I'm up 10% on them. That's sweet. That's sweet. I'm going to throw a stop here in some really ridiculous area on Netflix. Again, guys, that's just textbook Thigh Gap. Super simple. So easy to hit, dude. So fucking... You guys knew exactly what I was looking for on Netflix. Perfect there. Nailed it on... Te I could have hit it again on Tesla here. There goes Tessie. Here comes Netflix. Here comes the spy running a little bit here. There we go. Salesforce popping back up. But who gives a shit when you drill Netflix like that? Quick 18% on coin. There you go. AMD make... A lot of things are making a move here. Let's see if uh, Netflix can get above this uh, 3 minute 13. That's kind of what you're looking at uh on this one i have a stop and profit it might hit it might not i don't really give a shit at this point i've already nailed this trade thigh gap tqqq thank you there you go tor guys i'm telling you thigh gap is the fucking truth looking at it in this way is so absolutely disgusting yeah, Tessie really ripping there. I wish it just didn't do this shit. I would have been able to hold through the whole fucking move, but I got Netflix though, so that's I'm chilling on that. AMD going up. Yeah, AMD looks good. Where's the dollar? Dollar's still holding on here. Salesforce still in shit land, which is good. We want Salesforce to stay in shit land. <laughs> Six and a half percent today and done. 1348 wins again. There you go. Bullard speak. Oh, is he today? Oh, yeah. Bullard speaking at 10. Very interesting. You took that Netflix trade for 2.6% on the port, you fucking animal. There you go, guys. There you go. See how easy it is with thigh gap? It's like so fucking simple. So simple, guys. Again, you don't have it yet. You still have that deal until next Monday to hop into three year at the super low price. That's where thigh gap is. Yeah, they might they might try and stop me on these Netflixes soon, which Whatever. You can do whatever the fuck you want to this trade. Oh, uh, they might jerk me around on it. Oh, no, that was fine. That was chill. That wasn't that bad. Yeah, I'm up a nice, what, 1.3% on my account today? So far? Easy, bro. Easy, easy, easy. Now I could probably just chill a little bit. I mean, we've gotten the moves. We literally hit the moves that we were looking for. Great. We hit the Tessie up to the 13. Little flash candle here. Or no, that's NVIDIA. Same deal, though. Right here, flash candle up to the 13. Very nice. Missed this. That's okay. Uh, Netflix rode this thing all the way from... I think I was getting it on this fucking candle here, this knife. So I rode this thing from 333 all the way up to 335. That's a really good trade there. Uh, Salesforce looking like it wants to go into the shitter still. Up 52% on those. That's fucking disgusting uh let's see i don't know how i was such a badass today got another 15 percent on your port nine for nine scalps this morning every trade executed perfectly gingy absolutely awesome little timid today went 80 percent on a streak uh about 20 trades from thursday to tuesday got less piggy yesterday hit 50 percent of your trades yesterday yeah that's fine man i mean you're still fucking crushing it uh yeah now i'm up one and a half percent that's really good that's real good on the port there i'll take that all day long all day long, bro. Yeah, I mean, Netflix is coming back up. This thing could easily start turning back up and running there, um, especially if the spy is going to do this as well. But I've already locked in my gains. Thank you. That was easy. PNC? What time frame? What do you look like? I need more information on it. 
Nancy ripping there, bro. Finally. Shot you a DM on Twitter. Oh, no. I don't even. Oh, DM. If you hit that whole Tesla move, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Oh, my God. There you go, buddy. That's pretty dirty. Putting Masterclass to work, dude. Masterclass for the fucking win. There you guys go. Yeah, I mean, Netflix probably coming back up. It just wicks around all like so much. I tried to give it a little bit more room than I normally would. I was hoping for an initial follow through here. It's still rejecting off that 13. We'll see, though. Tessie's extended up here nicely. We might be able to hit a move back down off this 200 if it gets there with thigh gap. That would be pretty sexy. Uh, Salesforce. I mean, dude, this trade's still looking absolutely phenomenal. Oh, oops. All right, guys. We're eight likes away from 150 as well. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, everybody. <clears throat> dude, I got to get on a plane later today, too. Oh, also, you guys want to hear some bullshit? Remember when I was talking all that shit about American Airlines yesterday? I go to sign in for my JetBlue flight and check in. You know what happens? I typed in the thing. It says, sorry, American Airlines is handling this flight now. <laughs> Fuck you, American Airlines. I hate you. I mean, Salesforce right now would be meeting all thigh gap criteria. Yeah, there goes Netflix there. Nancy screaming up to a level right now. I haven't seen anything from Bullard. I fucking hate American Airlines, bro. I hate it. 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 Times he talking now. It's better than spirit. Yeah. Your middle son broke his arm last night up late. Oh, that sucks, man. Sorry to hear that. Tell us how you really feel about AAL. I fucking hate them. They don't got t they don't have TVs. They don't have shit. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to like download on my crap phone over here and like do shit, you know. JetBlue sucks. Why do you hate JetBlue? JetBlue's sweet, dude. JetBlue's awesome. If you were here, I could help. Where is here? <laughs> he won't mess with me again. You broke your son's arm. That's a bit crazy. Spy at that three minute 48. Uh, Tessie. Netflix turning up. Dollar off a cliff, bro. But again, I want to show you guys where thigh gap was signaling you on the spy. It's this candle right here. So you get a little bit of position drop, but then it goes boom right up. And thigh gap never goes from light to dark in this whole candle sequence here. So you get to ride this entire move. Three years calling your name. You like Southwest? Southwest isn't bad. Can't see with the QR code there. Yeah, I know. I'm just telling you where the candles are. I'm not showing thigh gap to the public. It's too dirty. I'm not going to have people come to the stream and get thigh gap for free when we work so hard on giving you guys the best indicators uh, possible. Um, <clears throat> I can show you really quickly, though, on one of them. Just this one. The trade's over. You can see it right here. Boom. This is the candle that you would enter. You get a little bit of drop here, and then boom, right back up. Thigh gap never goes from light to dark. You get to ride that whole entire move. <clears throat> Bullard killed the, <clears throat> the dollar with his free money talk. Yeah. <clears throat> Wow.
Bueno, ya grabo que tal. Okay. A blue candle on Tesla to consider it a reversal. Light blue, yeah. Yeah, light blue. Uh, Geo, yeah. Uh, which one is it? Which one is it? I, I don't know how you would have gotten stopped out on a lot of these. You're still in QQ, TQQQ? Nice, dude. Stop loss engaged. There you go. Dude, it's Prince City over here, bro. Yeah, Netflix made the move. So it's just Netflix has these giant wicks that I don't like. So I scaled out here, stopped and profit here. Perfectly fine off of this moving up, which is good. I would have liked to have hit this, but that's okay. Tessie running up to that three minute 200 here. Nancy at a level. Spy breaking up to the three minute 200 as well. This could get interesting, guys. We're also 50 likes away from 200. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Keep running those up. Oh, there goes Tessie breaking up. It's cooking a little here. Nancy's still not getting above that level there. Just consolidating at those highs. Uh, Disney three minute. Okay. This? That's fine. You're playing next week. So you get stopped out. You can hit it back again right here off these lows. Yeah. So that's just a trade that didn't work, but the risk is super tight on this one. It's what? 9866. So the entry of the, you lost 10 cents on the thing. If you're trading dailies. You're going to get fucked. But if you're trading next week's, you're fine. Yeah. So that was just one that didn't work. Nothing wrong on that one. Dollar is just getting booty clapped here. Let's see. All right. Uh, do you know me to say I'm in the three minute entry model? Nope. Uh, I use thigh gap the exact way that I've taught you guys in the master classes. No different. No, there's sound, Sean. I don't know what you're saying there. Let's see. Spy rejecting. Let's see. Uh, <sighs> GM cross down on the four hour. That could be interesting. Ah, fucking ne dude. I feel like it's every, every time I trade Netflix, I nail it <clears throat> on the scale out and then just miss the beautiful move. You guys knew I was hunting Netflix here. This is the candle that I, I know. This is the candle that I entered on this retrace. Wait for it to confirm. And then boom, it just rips. It's just these wicks are not friendly.
You like a little bit of spice in your thigh gap? DM, you nailed your trades, buddy. Spy little shark. Let's see. Julie, you're still probably down horrendously. I, I don't need any of that in my live chat. Any of that nonsense. Heading to a job interview. Wish you luck. Good luck, Miguel. You got like 30 seconds on these candles here. Good luck, Miguel, on your job interview, buddy. Made a little, but you're going, there you go. Order filled. Thank you, Nancy. Stop in profit. Easy money. Turn phone off. Let well, I gotta make sure that order is actually there. <laughs> what's what's this? Oh yeah, that's fine. All right, we're chilling. Where's Salesforce? I'm chilling. Nice trade there. Thank you. You guys know exactly what I'm looking for with thigh gap. Easy. I'm literally just scalping. Scalp, 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 scalp. <clears throat> Easy money with thigh gap. Cool. Let's see where this goes. Thanks, Nancy, for the fucking gem there. Oh, my God. All right, here's what we're going to do. Just don't fucking rip back up on me, okay? Don't fucking give me a second here, NVIDIA. Hang out there for, like, two seconds, all right? Thanks. Fuck you. Order filled. Thank you. Another scale out. Stop and profit. Boom. Free money. I love it. Again, guys, the, the, the QR code on the screen is going to show you how to do all of this. Those of you guys that need to still hop into three year, you have until Monday. That's exactly how I'm nailing all these trades. I have not lost any day trades today. I've lost one or two in this week so far. It's been dirty. Uh, for me, Morrow, no. Uh, all I'm doing is is looking at extension of the thigh gap and then nailing it from there. If it's extended and the market looks good, we're go you can use the level. Like I was using this Nvidia level right here as the is the initial like the actual stop. But um, because I had a in my mind, I had two things that I could do. I could say, all right, I could then enter 
like as this is coming into its thigh gap uh, reversal here. Or what I could do is just wait for it. But if I entered too early, like if I was trying to catch it up here, my risk was right here. Closing candle above here. I didn't. I waited. That's why you saw me flip back to the two minute. If you look back, you can see me flip to the one and the two minute on NVIDIA. And you can see here that this is going to chop around a little bit more on the one minute. But the two minute was a bit smoother. I was just looking at how close we were to the three minute doing it. So you got it on the two minute here. Nice candle. I mean, I was kind of getting in there right as it started slipping. So that was my trade there. Let's see if this can come down, break this 48. If it comes down to day low, that would be fucking insane. Was uh, gone from trading for about a week, but been nailing plays with the thigh gap this week. Good shit, Orlando. Good shit, team. So I have a stop at break even. We're going to see what happens with this one. If Spy breaks here and Nancy goes too, that's going to get dirty. <clears throat> How do you turn it on? Uh, I think we're working on it right now. I think Speed Racer 1 might be down and they're doing some maintenance to it. Nancy's not really behaving itself here. It's bouncing off this three minute 200. I mean, is this just a retest of the five minute? No. Oh, it's bouncing off the three minute or five minute 13. That's what it's doing. Those fuckers. Is this a good retest on Tesla? Uh, no. I mean, the entry on Tesla was, I mean, this candle up here, one basically 183.86. So that was kind of where the entry was there on Tessie. Referencing two and three minute for plays, not something I've been doing, but looks really nice. I just did it quickly there just to kind of look at it. 5.41% on the port. There you guys go. Again, I'll throw the link uh, in here too for all of you guys on the outside. Remember, it's five bucks your first month. There you guys go. Make sure you guys are hopping in before it's too late. Weeble won't execute your cell. Is it like a limit? Because maybe it's just not hitting it. If Weeble's being weird today though, that's going to be annoying. I didn't. I haven't had any problems with Weeble today. It's a stop. It might be a stop limit. Uh, broken traffic lights daily. Red light runner is four hour, but it says, and there's videos on them. Yep. Gabe and I both have a few videos out on our channels on the, oh, Nancy shark. There we go. So this is at the other scale out point right now. Let's see if it can come down and break this uh, three minute 48. It's, it's just fighting the five minute 13. So spy wicked came back up. Let's see what happens here. It's a stop order. That's weird. Oh, the spreads might be wide. That might be why. So it's coming down and it looks like it should hit, but it doesn't. That could be one of the reasons too. You stayed away from spy and you're actually up. Nice. So I'm just going to ride this Nancy, see what happens. This is a great trade. I was in on this candle, these two candles here. Scaled out, uh, nailing it now. Let's see what happens. Up about 2% on my account. Pretty good. Pretty good, man. I mean, 2% a day is fucking disgusting. That's kind of what I, what I mean. Some of my bigger days, five. You guys saw me have a 20% day recently. I mean, again, we're just killing it over here, guys. Got to pay for the playground somehow. <laughs> just kidding. Yep, Nancy's knife in there. Maybe I'll move the stop up a little bit. Nah, I'll leave it. Why are these? I'll move it like five cents just to give it a little bit more of a buffer. No, don't you fucking dare. Don't. What are you doing? <laughs> you switched to QQQ from Spy? Nice. If you're comfortable with that, let it fly. Let it fly. 
All right, guys, keep some. Oh, dude, we're gonna hit 200 likes today. Let's do it. Oh, dude, this has been a fucking great day so far. Let's see what happens with the video here. I've already made some decent money on it. We'll let this fucker go. I want to see a comeback to day low, but I don't know if we're going to get, or at least this. It's just the spies really got to fucking, you know, shit itself. Cancel TQQQ and sold that market. Seven and a half percent on those three contracts. Nice. That's a good trade. The Qs can be a lot calmer than the spy. Interesting. 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 Nancy hit Gabe's level and bounce. Why don't I have her use that level? Well, because he drew it on the chart this morning. How am I supposed to have his level on the chart from this morning? <laughs> like, I just don't. I just don't have it. Uh, up nicely on the Nancys. You have it. Great. Good for you. <laughs> like. It's a good, it's probably a really good level. No, Nancy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, ah, 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 ah. Sideways, lots of lights. That's where thigh gap keeps you out of the trades. If thigh gap's flashing around in neutral, you're not taking the trades. It's so simple, guys. It keeps you out of all the bad trades and hands you the good ones on a silver platter. This system just makes uh, everything so stress-free. We have a real nice edge in the market with all these tools. We do. We do. AMC is running good for them. They're still down horrendously. Like fucking let me know when it's back above the level where I said that it was garbage. 18 combined value. Let's see. All right, guys, it is 1028 in the morning. That is going to be wrapping it up for us today. Again, don't get left behind. Prices are going to be going up soon for monthly for all you guys that are late on it. Again, there's a link right there. Use code Print City, and you guys are going to be all good to go. Hopping into Print City with us. So team, uh, remember, Monday is the absolute last day to hop into three-year with us. Make sure that you guys don't miss that. We extended that offer out for you guys just because uh, Speed Racer was delayed. So make sure that you guys are taking advantage of that if that's something that you are interested in. But other than that, guys, welcome to fucking Print City. This was an awesome day. Zero losses on the day trades. Nailed the swings. Had to get stopped out on coin a little bit there, but that is perfectly okay because we are up very nicely on the day. So team, I will see you guys later. No afternoon stream today because I got to get on a fucking plane. But other than that, guys, I'll see you later. NVIDIA's printing. Peace.